we're half five, we're in, God, where are we? Some office somewhere. On a big leather sofa, we've been in here all day. But, uh, we're pleased to be here talking to you now. Yeah. And here, we've just got a promo copy of our new album. Once got on a time in the West. And we've got a sign about a thousand of them, I think. You're kidding. Something like that. It's quite a lot. And there's it's only two pens. It's going to take some time. Good though, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Single's just come out, it's midweek to number five today, which we're quite pleased about. Could have yeah, been better. better. Loads of big hitters out there, like some R&B, whatnots, and hip hop. So well, yeah, it's done very well. Yeah, it's set to climb as well, you know, which is exciting, yeah. you know, we'll see how it gets on. Got some gigs coming up as well, got some gigs in about, is it next week? Uh, or the week after? We start the week after. Got some shows, it's pretty small, about 1,000, 1,500. But they'll be great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great to get out there. You know, the, the first singles out there, the album's out soon. It's just like after all this kind of like fucking around, you know what I mean? You finally do what you're here to do, which is get your music out there and play some gigs. That's what it's all about, really. Yeah, I think we could have done much bigger venues, but we just wanted to kind of keep them small. We wanted to make our shows like really special. Like we've just come back, so it's kind of we've just done some really small shows at the Dublin Castle and. And they were cool, it's just good for the fans and stuff, and I think these ones as well would be cool just because it's, it's smaller. It also yeah. gives us a chance to get our shit together as well, to learn how to play the song probably in that. <laughs> I mean, so we're trying to find like different sort of venues as well, you know, like if we, we're going to towns where you know, perhaps fans don't always go to, or when we do play places that are more common, trying to find a different sort of venue there, just to make it freshen it up a bit. And, Make it a bit more. We also have to ask shows to be an event, you know. It's because no one else will have us. <laughs> yeah, we all, we've always said that well, we always want to be kind of like almost like a positive energy, you know. Um, a lot of the time in the UK, everyone's kind of cynical and negative, and you know, and in my opinion, has always been no one likes a smart ass, you know, like, and we just, we just wanted to be kind of a bit more kind of. That if something's shit, instead of just moaning about it and turning your nose up, let's try and change it, let's make something happen, let's do something about it. Um, and that's just been always kind of our, 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 our the way of doing things, because we, we, you know, initially we didn't have a choice in the matter. It was either, it was either that or put up with it. So, um, you know, I hope this, work, this record will just continue that. I mean, I think it will surprise a lot of people, you know. I mean, you know, I, just can't, I, just, I just can't wait to just get it out there and let people hear it. And get the, you know, get the opinion of the people who count. We've done some work on the studio, we extended it. Um, the company moved out from next door. We bought the next unit and knocked through. And then, so it's got bigger. And we've got some proper equipment this time around. We bought some mics, stuff that works properly, a desk. And it's cool. You've got a sink and a microwave. And Toast a toaster up. as well. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, a yeah. fridge. Yeah, you know, so all, all mod cons in there. I know people snag off Tesco's and probably rightly so, but you can can't get some cheap domestic appliances. We, we, I, I was talking to someone last night who was saying, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't sort of know her at school and that, I didn't really know her, but she's going, yeah, yeah, we're all really, really proud of you and that. So, yeah, fucking cool, cheers. You can walk around your town, you know, and it, one of the things that surprised me and one of the, you know, the reasons why, you know, like songs like Suburban Nights that were written, because you come home and you, people come up to you and you think they're going to be shitty or jealous or whatever, but they're just, they're just made up, they're just proud. Like, you know, you say that someone from their town has come and done it, you know, and, and, and like, they, it's like, it's not our band anymore, it's theirs, you know, it is the, that connection there. You know, a lot of the times the sort of mindset around our way is, you know, if you want to do something different, if you want to be, I don't know, a musician, a painter, a journalist, a writer, you know, Acrobat. An acrobat or you know, like a lighthouse keeper. Anything <laughs> anything just different from the norm, you know, you always kind of there's always that, well that's alright, but that's not really for the likes of us, you know, those things aren't for the likes of us to do. And you know, I see my friends who had dreams sort of sometimes they succumb and you know, go, Oh maybe that's not for me, maybe I'm not cut out for it, you know, maybe and I think, you know, us coming along says, you know what, that's bullshit, you know, if you wanna do it. You know, and they feel like, you know what, that'd be great. Or if not, they just go, you know what, brilliant. Somewhere from my, some my, my town. It's, it's great, actually, it's really cool.